Welcome to, oh hello, welcome to my DIY. I'm going to show you how to make meatloaf. I've had a request to do that and and I had just bought some turkey burger. This is what I use. Sometimes I use hamburger but not very often. Uh, so I've got a package of turkey burger. I've got myself an egg. Ooh, that almost <laughs> broke. And some breadcrumbs. I just take make my own breadcrumbs or you can just buy some. Okay, let's get to work. This is real easy. This is what we're going to have for dinner tonight. All right, get yourself a pan as we're going to mix all this up. And I'm not going to make all of this for me and Papa O because it's just two of us. So I'll just do a portion of it. Let's get enough for us two. There's Papa's portion and my portion. So we'll just take like a, a little bit of that. And I'll cook that up and freeze it for later. Crack that egg in there. And take your breadcrumbs. And put about, I don't know, enough to make it work. You know, to absorb the egg. And I'll put in some salt, about a teaspoon full salt. Sprinkle in some Mrs. Dashes, about a fourth of a teaspoon. And let's put in some garlic salt. Just sprinkle a little bit in. It's probably about an eighth or a fourth a teaspoon. And this is where you get your hands good and dirty. Make sure you wash them first. Are your hands clean? I go, well, they are now. <laughs> okay, you just mix that egg up really well. And this is going to be your little meatloaf or make little hamburger patties. Mix that egg up in there, you know. Nobody wants to get a chunk of egg. The egg helps hold it together. I have this cute little mini loaf. I'm going to spray it with oil because turkey burger doesn't have fat in it. So I'll spray it and put that in and then the rest of it I'll fry up like hamburgers. Okay, spray it. You fill your pan up about, about to there. I'm going to bake that. It's just a little mini one. Just a little fellers. Okay, bake that for half an hour. Uh, just make sure it's all the way done. I think that will do. And then I'm going to cook the rest of the hamburger in here. I mean the turkey burger. And I'll show you how to how to do these little mini patties. We're going to have a corn of cob and for dinner tonight. And a couple of these little patties. We'll just make them into a hamburger patty. Mm, that'll be so good. Place that in your pan. Get the other one. And with the egg in it, they're going to stick together. Okay. Let's fry those up and put the meatloaf in the oven. Alright, I got those two patties cooking and let's put this in the oven. And you could call these meatloaf patties. Just sprinkle a bit more uh, Mrs. Dashes on it. I use Mrs. Dashes a lot. Garlic salt, and you're good to go. Sprinkle a little bit of salt on there. A little bit of pepper. With turkey burger, add a little bit of water or some oil. I just put some water in there. It doesn't have its own fat. So we'll just let those brown up nicely. And I'm cooking the rest. I cook it and then I put it in little little containers to use for sketty later. Now put a little bit of oil here. I uh, use olive oil. That'll help brown those up nice. Get those in the oil spots. And this is optional, but if you want an onion in there, already got these cooking. I'm just gonna sprinkle some chopped onions on there and then. I'll hurry and add some chopped onions to the meatloaf one because that's just getting going. Now for a glaze, get some catsup and put it in a bowl, about a fourth a cup, and some brown sugar, about one tablespoon, and mix that up, and that's going to be your glaze that's going to go on top. And then on top of the meatloaf, just kind of put that on there, 
and that will be delicious because it's got a little bit of sugar in it. Yeah, I turned them over to get that. I want that catsup cooked really good. Kind of kind of glaze it a bit and then we'll turn it back over. And then with that leftover onion, just put it in a bag and mark it. Chopped onions, 817. And let's check on these. Oh, it's going to be a nice, nice flavor to that. Kind of cooked in those. And I've got some corn on the cob. Pop that in the microwave like this for five minutes. Got yourself corn on the cob. Okay, that meatloaf is half cooked. So let's put that catsup uh, mixture in there. And then let it finish cooking. You'll have that nice glaze on there. And we'll take a picture of it after. You know, put it back in to finish baking. Okay, here's our dinner. Got the patties and the rolls and the corn. I cut the corn off. Got the meatloaf out of the oven and sliced it up. Okay, pop it. Oh, go ahead and taste it. You say hi. Now taste it. Hey, what's up? Okay, this is turkey burger meatloaf with a ketchup glaze. Mmm. That good? That's an <laughs> understatement. It is superb. It's delicious. good, isn't it? Mm hmm. And it's simple, easy, fast, and delicioso. Sure is good. <laughs> sure is good. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. All right. I hope you like that DIY on meatloaf and hamburger patties. And they're just really good because uh, it's got the bread and the egg in it and adds more to it than what you would with just a regular hamburger. Make sure you give a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, um, and watch for our my next DIY and every Friday at 2. Thank you and good night.